Hey everyone, this is Rex. Um, today I want to show you how to check a cylinder head for warpage and um, see if it needs to go to a machine shop to have surfaced. Well anyway, this particular head was removed because of a broken timing belt and some bent valves. So it never overheated, so chances are it's within specs of the warpage limit. So what we're going to do is first clean off the any old gasket material so it doesn't give a false reading. I pretty much have it already cleaned up pretty good. But you can use a scraper or um, what I use is just a razor blade, just a plain old razor blade. And it works pretty much the best for me anyway. And um, you just gotta be careful you don't dig anywhere right around the combustion chambers or anything where the firing ring is. But anyway, all right, once you got that cleaned off pretty good, what you're gonna use is a straight edge. And if you don't know what that is, this is what it is. It's just a straight piece of metal, and it's actually a, a precise tool. It's machined completely straight along the edge here. So what we do is you want to go from corner to corner, and you're going to use feeler gauges. And that's what these are right here. And the warpage limit usually on an aluminum four-cylinder head like this is usually around anywhere from... I would say around four to seven thousandths, maybe eight thousandths. But if it's any more than three, I'll have it surfaced. So we'll start out with a four thousandths feeler gauge and see if we can slide it under there anywhere. And if we can, then I'll go ahead and have it surfaced. All right, nah, can't get it under there, that's pretty tight. So even if I lift up, put it down on it, it's tight, I can't pull it out. All right, I'll try it in several different areas along the surface side of the head. Now I'll do it this way, corner to corner, and make sure. And usually when it warps, it's gonna you're gonna have a uh, in between the um, combustion chambers is really where it's gonna be, right in here, and in the center of the head. But I'm not getting anything with a four thousand, so it's it's pretty straight. So we're gonna go down. I'm gonna try maybe a. Let's see if I got maybe a two or three thousandths in here. Let's see. There's a three thousandths right here. If I can get this anywhere under it, then we'll surface it. If not, it's pretty much good to go. No. All right, let's try corner to corner. Let's see. It's tight. I can almost get it under a little bit. I can feel it's... No, nah, it's not. All right. Right here. It's tight. All right, let's go over a long ways. Check in between the cylinders. No, let's just pinch it and try to pull it out. No, it's, it's, it's good to go. All right, that's all you do. Check it in different angles, make sure there's no warpage anywhere, but use a straight edge, clean the gasket surface off really good, use a straight edge and feeler gauges, and that's all you have to do. There's one other thing that um, I wanted to point out is um, whenever I go back together with a cylinder head that um, I hadn't surfaced, I usually use uh, copper spray. It's a spray sealant. Uh, comes in a can you can buy it at any auto parts store and it's a gasket sealer spray it on the cylinder head gasket before you go back together but uh, anyway it's a good habit so again if you liked it please like if it helped you please like um, and subscribe or we'll make more thanks again